Howdy there, folks, and welcome back to our playthrough of Italia. We are playing as the Regia Marina, which is what we do. We are playing as a fleet that has had a checkered past in real historical context, and we are bringing them to new heights, if only briefly. Now, last time around, we started a war with Austro-Hungary because we could, Right now, we're trying to build a new dreadnought fleet so that we can go around and just bully people. And I'm going to start attritioning the shit out of my destroyers because uh, I need the dockyard space. That sounds like the worst possible reason to eat up your destroyer fleet. But trust me, I need the dockyard space. Uh, I hate having so many ships to look after. Now, I've got them effectively blockaded. And I do mean very effectively blockaded. They are blockaded at the Ionian Sea. They are blockaded at the Aegean Sea and at the Black Sea. And I'm presuming the Turks are not helping them either. So we are going to squeeze them as hard as we can. And we are going to force them to give up ports. I want more ports so I can do more trade. That is what we do here. So we have sunk more of the transports. Ah, the Gabagool class now has to fight. Oh, wow, that was an actual ship. Uh, Veribus Unitus. Uh, and yeah, looks like the rest of their fleet. So let's have a throwdown. This is going to be a son of a bitch. Because I'm going to have to fight their whole fleet with only four battleships. Now, surely this is going to be a disaster. Surely this is going to be a bad star. Surely this is going to burn. But... Maybe not. All right. Four battleships versus two battleships, nine heavy cruisers, and three torpedo boats. Oh, and we've already spotted each other because reasons. All right. Let's change formation. Let's do this. San Pio, F F San Pio the Fifth, Gabagul, Sardinia, and Francesco Morosini. Let's do this. Everything at them. Now, as you may remember, these are the ships I put the 14-inch guns on, the 5-inch guns on, the 2-inch guns on, and torpedoes o'clock. We are just going to start swinging for the fences and hope we kill them. Now, I don't mind that we are outmatched here. I'm just going to hurt them. That's the best I can do. Now, if I don't like this engagement, I can also leave because I have this thing called speed. So I'm going to go into line ahead. I'm going to tell them to roll back in, even though I just told them to disperse. The flag officers on the wings of the bridge are probably very, very busy. And we're going to just turn. I'm going to just start swinging at them and see what we can do. Let's sink the whole Austro-Hungarian Navy, shall we? Or die trying. That is our objective right now. Burn them to the ground. Huts, battle music. We don't know what it is, but we're sinking it. Get out of here. Get out of here with your trash. Ah, yes, battle line. Oh, he's not going to last long. Return fire is starting to show up. I don't care for it. He's having a bad day. Most of his boat is full of water. Water goes on the outside. His ammo just exploded. And now he is sinking. 
Reducing speed. Looks like we have a cruiser formation over here and then the rest of them over here with the battleship. So let's go ahead and pick some victims. Goodbye. All right, Gabagool, let's do this. We're getting that range. You're in trouble now. Oh, they're trying to leave. How cute. What a tall ship. Could they get a taller mast? All right. Let's go into pursuit formation. The ships are going to break left and right, and we're going to go into a flying V, and we're going to chase them. Accelerate to murder speed. They're going to try to flee the field of battle. This is not acceptable. Ooh, that's a good hit. Turns out most of your ship is on fire, buddy. His engine's burned out. He's gonna slow down. Bad for him. The Death Star is in firing range. Ooh, that's a good one. As the Italians say, that's a spicy meatball. It looks like the cruisers are turning around. They're going to try to stop me. Not today. We're going right through. If you get in front of me, I will ram you. Formation. Bring him down. It's the Achilles. Oh. He's having a bad day. Oh, he's having a worse day. That's like dropping an anvil on an ant. Yes, use your pathetic guns against me. You didn't bring enough, did you? Oh, a torpedo. How cute. It did pathetically nothing. Your vessels are nothing. He's having a hard day. I'm gonna make it worse. Gabagool. Oh, that's metal.
Let's sink that battleship. Increase speed. We're only able to do 23 knots because of damage on the first ship. But, uh, that's really not gonna stop me. Oh, that's not good. The secondaries are just eating his fleet alive. Alright, cruisers are coming in trying to stop me again. Not today. My damage control is on point. He's trying to line up for Torps. He's trying to line up for Torps. He is getting his ass handed to him. That's a paddling. That's a paddling. Alright, his torpedo boats are coming in now. He's finding my secondaries are very good. Yep. I will turn the main guns on you. Don't make me do it. Oh man. What a pounding. Alright, he's got two battleships left. Let's concentrate fire. It's a point blank gunfight. Regia Marina. They're shooting back, it's really not doing anything. Yeah, that ship's on fire. So he has an older battleship and a newer battleship. They're both equally crap compared to mine. The newer battleship would be terrifying if he wasn't shooting them against essentially an anvil. Which is what he's doing. The older battleship is terrible. That's a Mikasa style uh, ship, but over here we've got... Wow, he's going in already. Oh no, I'm not going to end this battle yet. I need to sink everything. I have a point to make. Italia. He's going down. Sink. 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 There you go. Clean sweep. Gabagool! 200 people dead versus 5,700 people. 0 and 14. I think that's a winner. I win. Let's see. Oh man, the United States keeps trying to swing at me. They're they're upset that I have a navy. 
They're upset that I'm an ascendant navy. They're probably like those fucking Italians, and I'll be like, I'll take Florida. I'll make a second Italy out of it. It's fairly Italian shaped. It's fairly Italy shaped. I could do that. I could burn their shit down. Listen here, America. I'm gonna show people how strong Italy is. No, we're gonna fight to the end. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep grinding them down uh, as much as we can. And yeah, there we go. We're just gonna keep sinking his fleet. Which, I have no idea how much of it remains, but let's go check here. Seven battleships, ten cruisers. Yeah, I've eaten a lot of it, but not enough. I need to continue grinding Austro-Hungary down. However, now that my new ships are uh, involved, I'm probably going to just start taking stuff. So let's go ahead and take Albania from them. Why not? And then we're going to go into politics here, and I'm going to be like, Hello, uh, government. I would like very much to invade Albania. All right, let's just go ahead and take that. Remember when Albania wouldn't sell us the MiGs? Well, I'm going to pay them back in a video game because they wouldn't sell us the MiGs, and I was very nice. I think if I take Albania, uh, I can then control ports essentially on both sides here. Um, of the Adriatic, and then I can just fill them with torpedo boats. And if they don't get the message at that point, they can fuck right off. Alright, let's see. Uh -huh, my whole destroyer fleet versus theirs, and I win. We are now taking out... Uh, looks like we're going to take Albania fairly effortlessly. I'm going to continue to torpedo everything I can find with my navy, which is its job. Uh, my wartime budget is barely keeping pace, which means when I go to peacetime, I'm going to have to scrap a lot of this. Or I can create a larger war and hopefully get more money from the Italian government. Some would say this is graft, but I just like building ships. So, yes, maybe it is. Oh, wow. Let's just sink their everything. Uh-huh. Good. Got it. Looks like Britain is trying to size me up. I would hate to have to fight the Royal Navy. The French I will not fight because holy shit. Uh, Britain? Alright, nobody's running me into the strong negatives yet. I'm gonna keep making nice with Spain because I don't want to die on a two-front war. Alright, let's see. Let's take Albania. We need Albania. We need Albania. Come on, Albania. After that, it's Montenegro and then I'll let them keep Croatia. I will let them keep it as a pet. I'm just going to keep driving this up the coast, and I'm going to just keep grinding them down. That is my objective. I will become the Genghis Khan of the seas. <laughs> Imagine reading that in a history book. The Italian Navy, the Genghis Khan of the seas. You will never see that, but it would be neat. All right, Wide Tom class is doing well. We're just sinking their whole navy. They don't have really anything they can do. All they can do is think about it. The America made the Panama Canal in 1914. That's interesting. America also seized Belize, which is interesting that they did that. So here's what we're going to do. We've ground them down, and we are doing our best, and we're slowly getting into better armor quality. Really high-level tensile steel and such. Albania's ours. Next up, we're going to take this huge fleet up here, and then I'm going to invade Montenegro. Because it's there. No other reason. I'm just going to say, you know what? I'm rolling up the coast. Let's go ahead and take uh, Montenegro. There we go. And we'll move our fleet within position to just sit off their port. And I'll say, hey, knock, knock. And they'll go, who's there? And I'll say, invasion. The Italian... Oh my god, the Italian army's involved. This may end in disaster. Aside from... Select elite units in history. The Italian army has had mixed results ever since that Rome thing fell apart. I know there's going to be a lot of well-actuallys. Just take it to Reddit.
Okay, here we go. We're gonna take Montenegro and then Bosnia Herzegovina. Maybe uh, I'll leave Serbia alone and I'll just keep taking Croatia and I'll try to make the Austro-Hungarian Navy uh, have to run out of the Black Sea. I'll make it have to sit in Ukraine and uh, operate past the Turkish blockade and then fight the Soviets. So that will be an interesting world. But it won't be my problem. I won't have an asshole behind me. I'll only have assholes in front of me, which are a terrifying global navy that I should probably be worried about. But, you know, just one step at a time, one disaster at a time. Right? Maybe? Okay, let's see. Des defensive minefields. Got it. Got it. Uh-huh. Oh, Norway wants to buy stuff. All right, United States is making up with me. The Italian army is moving out of Albania into Montenegro, which is... Good luck. All right, so it looks like the uh, Austro-Hungarian Navy is not really going to do shit. It's going to do jack and shit and jack left out. See, Tex said the words drink. But what we're going to do is we are going to continue to fight as belligerently as possible, as nastily as possible, and with as much force as possible. Because I realize we're on a ticking time here. We've got our naval funds, which are running out, because I'm running definitely over budget by a one shitload. All right, there's a ship. Yeah, I'm just going to auto-calc it, because I'm going to give them some chance. Netherlands wants to buy some ships. That's fine. Let's go ahead and look at our fleet composition. So I have a lot of destroyers that are in okay shape. In 13 months, I will have my new flotilla. Looks like I can intercept and burn a convoy, which is fine and dandy like cotton candy, because it is eating up everything they've got. All right. Soon enough, we will control Montenegro, and then I will go into Croatia and maybe, maybe just leave them with one little port up there. However, that is actually a reasonably big port. I just need them to be away from me. That's it. I don't need an enemy behind me. They were being mean earlier, and I just decided to do something about it. Sink their navy. That is all our job is. Uh-huh. Selling ships. Okay, look. The Montenegro changed hands while it was attacked from many sides. The offensive had to stop. The Italian army gave up, but it did control Montenegro. So, we, we do control part of it, but not all of it. Because they were like, okay, we had to stop because it, it it's it's a bit much. And I'm like, we could have taken all of it. And they're like, yeah, but I mean, maybe not. And I'm like, come on, guys. All right, Italian army is going to do its job to help us out here as we try to push them out of Croatia and Slovenia. Come on, Italian army. You have total naval supremacy, you're all within eight feet of the coast, and there's a million guns sitting off coast to help you shell stuff. Probably still not helping, but I'm, I'm gonna hope they do. Now in my American campaign of this, Spain is America. Spain, Spain is one of my states. I've completely neglected the Pacific, and I instead focused on Europe, which is hilarious. China is offering an alliance. No thank you. You're too far away. Ah, the head of the Austrian Admiralty got fired. Good. Alright, yep. Just continuing to sink and damage their navy with my destroyer screens, which is fantastic. We're trying to take Croatia from them. Looks like a lot of their navy is absolutely bottled up, which is fine with me. Let's move as much of our fleet into the operation zone as possible so that we can take part in this wonderful invasion. By wonderful invasion, I mean it's it's a shit show, but that's okay. I'm going to just move more boats into this operations area. Surely this won't have any problems with logistics. Then I have this big destroyer squadron here, and I'm going to move it past Constantinople, and I'm going to play goalie to their fleet that's in Odessa. They're going to have to run past me to do anything, and I'm just going to put a rebar in their spokes as they do so. Running past a giant mine-laying flotilla of destroyers is a pain in the ass, and that's what I'm counting on. Also, mining the Bosphorus has been typically a very good tactic. Source, Gallipoli. Alright, let's see. Sink more of their shit. 
Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, Belgium and Norway are buying destroyers. Everyone sees these destroyers are really good, and they're like, I, I too wish this power. So even with all my navy power here, and the army advancing on land, it's only given me a 48% chance, which I understand. My guys are probably like, why are we doing this? And I'm like, because we can. So let's continue to build out our dockyards, because we're barely keeping pace with shipbuilding capacity. And I do mean oh so barely. In four turns, I'm going to have to make some very, very severe austerity cuts to my training and R&D programs in order to maintain positive float on my budget. This is going to be a pain in the ass, but it'll be all right. So in the log over there, it said that Austro-Hungary was building a bunch of cruisers, which that's not going to help at all. Uh, it's going to be like a year before they get any of them in the water. And even then, with the amount of damage they've taken so far, it's not going to end well. Um, looks like Spain is starting to sour on me a little bit, which is not so great. But sooner or later, your naval supremacy makes enemies, and people start getting really, truly very upset. They start seeing you as a problem, and that's okay, because I have a lot of problem solvers, and I am more than willing to employ all of them. I'm going to have a ship fleet of yachts. I'm going to have a bunch of very fancy Italian battleships that are pretty okay in every way. And should I need destroyers, I will mass produce them. I will mass produce destroyers and I will have them in every port around the world. I will just have a mass production destroyer fleet and I'll be like, knock, knock, fuck you. That's going to be my response to most everything. All right, folks, let's see what we can do next. Ah, high tinsel steel. We finally researched that chestnut. Okay, we're going to need to start moving into heavier armor, better hull strengthening. I need to build bigger hulls if I'm going to start outfighting these navies. I need to start building super battleships. I know 1914 is a bit early for the concept of fast battleships, but this is cool. And rule of cool rules the waves. So, yeah, we're going to do it. If the Brits can build an HMS victory and successive versions of it, the Brits can build the HMS Warrior. I can build a super battleship, and an Italian super battleship is going to be really nice, right? Right? Some of you are already shaking your heads. It's going to be very fancy. There's going to be like a disco room, you know, where you can have the disco and hang out. I'm just continuing to sink their shit. All right, let's see if we can take Croatia from still a 48% chance, which to me is worth it. To me, it's worth it. They they don't seem to want to actually let me do anything. The Italian army has managed to accomplish zero. It has accomplished zero going across the Alps into Austria. As well, uh, attempting to move into the Central Balkans and attempting to land invade through Montenegro has achieved jack and shit. So go Italian army. You guys, you guys, come on. All right, let's see. 48% chance. It is not changing much. All right. We're going to go ahead and keep sinking their ships or damaging them as heavily as possible. Looks like I'm going to go bankrupt until I adjust my finances. We're going to knock this down to 50%. And we're going to knock this down to 50%. Now, some will say, Tex, you'll lose your technological supremacy. Not really. I'm going to gain an industrial supremacy by doing this. I need to keep that economy rolling. I also need to get those battleships in. Then I can get rid of the old battleships if I want to, which I don't have to actually. I'm just going to slowly adjust and tune as we go along and I'm going to burn the enemy down. I am overbuilding my battleships, I know. Future generations will thank me. They will say thank you Papa Tex for destroying the enemy. Thank you for building the majestic battleship fleet from sea to shining sea. Thank you for making Italy pretty cool. Thank you for making people fear the meatball. All right, there we go. Got it. Uh-huh. Yep, gonna sink you. All right, sinking. Uh-huh, got you. Gonna blow you up a little bit. Excellent. Continuing to grind them down. All right, it looks like in one turn I have a fitty-fitty chance almost 
The Italian army has advanced 29% at the loss of a half million men into Austria. Uh, looks like my other army groups are not doing so great. Um, that's, that's the most promising front so far. God damn it, Italian army. Please. You have one job. Crawl over the Alps and start bayoneting Austrians. Get in there. Burn down their strudel factory. Please, invasion, succeed. Please. Please deny them ports. Alright. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna sink this next battleship of theirs because it's 22,000 deadweight tons. That is a more modernized battleship than the shit they were making. Which is uh, kind of interesting. Alright, so a more modernized battleship versus, again, the same fleet, which has not been back to port yet. They've done some very basic repairs. And that's fine. We're gonna go into the northwest and we're going to hurt the enemy. We're going to go line abreast. We're not going to tell them to avoid anything. We're just gonna tell them to be really cool. We're rolling forward. One knot shy of maximum, and I do mean theoretical maximum on this hold, so the repairs they've made are pretty damn good. They're at least holding up to the ocean pounding into this thing. The ocean will rearrange the guts of a ship like you wouldn't believe. If you want to go see some... just go look at storm damage on US Navy ships in World War II, and you will see some incredible stuff, especially like Halsey's Typhoon. You will find all of these things that happen where the ocean just gets mad and just starts breaking ships. Old King Neptune will drag ships down to the fucking bottom like nothing else. You think enemy shells are dangerous, the ocean is scarier than, the, than anything else. Alright, where is he? 22 clicks in closing. All right, main battery range is, uh, let's see. Looks like AP range is 18 kilometers. I have not yet developed good enough range finding to deliver those further. So we need to close in with this battleship. And he is transiting from Yan to Nya, looks like. So we're going to go and take a look-see. Yep, yep. That is an interesting battleship he's got. That is a lot of fucking guns. So he's got an interesting secondaries uh, here with the casemates, which later on they just welded all that shit over, because, yeah, the ocean would get in, and that's a really good way to get shells into the hull as well. But what a magnificent array of guns, and I like his secondaries on raised turrets above the, the primary armament, so this is actually pretty baller. These are cool ships. We're slowly identifying it. We're probably going through Jane's fighting ships and just quickly thumbing through it and going like, okay, what is that? So far, we are closing with the target. He is at 19 clicks and closing. 19.8, 19.7, 19.6, 19.9, 19.10, 19.11. We're hoping to head him off as best possible, but there is no way I can get more speed out of these things. They're like, is it a battle cruiser? And I'm like, those haven't been invented yet. And he's like, oh. It's reasonably fast, whatever it is, but not fast enough. Okay, shell drop. He is still maintaining heading. Fairly furious, brawling armament there. So, pretty good boat. Alright, let's see. We're starting to get into range. And at this range, it's all plunging fire, meaning it's coming pretty much straight down on him. So, unless he has really thick deck armor, any hit is going to be fairly catastrophic and is going to detonate deep in the hull. Plunging fire is a bastard. When you get in close, your belts will more or less make you fairly impervious. Especially in this era. Jutland kind of proved that. You have a bunch of ships that come in that are just beat to hell, but are still pretty okay. Like, they, they are not broken. They're just heavily damaged. 
We should have a fix on his engine power here shortly. We're gonna work that out using a little bit of math and make a positive identification, which at this range is pretty remarkable. So 18.9 knots flat out. The whole battery is 9.2 inch guns and each gun looks like it has almost 1,100 rounds, at least in the wing turrets, and the fore and aft have 2,000 rounds mixed. So yeah, that ship is designed for a long, long fight. I'm not gonna let him have that though. He's gonna run, I'm gonna close range. That's how this works. New ship spotted. They don't know what these are, but these are his escorts. Looks like torpedo boats or destroyers. Wow, that is fairly bad sea keeping. It's got a bit of a bob to it. If we land short on this battleship, we might plaster one of those, but we're already getting really, really close. The guys in the plotting room are working out his demise. See, I didn't say plotting his demise. That, All right, we're just going to keep going. Now this guy's on a constant heading, which means he's going for speed. However, his battery has turned out, so he is preparing to start shooting back. Now what are the range on those guns? Let's see. Thirteen point seven. All right, we're starting to cross that into his range, so he's going to start pelting us back. He held fire until he was at eleven. So, his crew may not be the best. No, says his crew is all right. Looks like he's holding just to get higher probability. Is he turning to present is the question. Nope, he is maintaining heading. He's giving it maybe a nudge of left rudder every so often. Try to keep me in range. My guess is he's going to have these cruisers double back on me. Cruisers or destroyers double back on me and trying to do as much damage as possible to slow me down so that the battleship can escape. All right, his cruisers are running in. Oh, hit. There we go. Penetrating hit right through the deck. The closer we get, the harder it will be to actually crack him, but it will be easier to hit him. All right, yeah, this cruiser is starting to come in. Let's gonna run the battery up on him. Guns out, guns out. Secondaries are weighing in now. Yeah, that is a cruiser. Overpin. I have too much gun for him. Overpin is not desirable. That means it's going all the way through without doing any damage. The shell needs to go in and then burst. Like that. Now, he's sank. He's sank in like four seconds. That's pretty metal. Alright, his torpedo boat looks like it's gonna probably try to play that game as well. He's gonna be a little harder to hit, but not impossible, and I'm willing to bet the main battery's already gonna try. Alright, ready? Ready, ready, ready? Oh, almost. That went right over him. Reach out and touch him, boys. It's probably going to be a miss that hits him. They're going to be tracking two fore or two aft, and then it will just land right, right in the middle of it and flatten him. Oh, that is close. That's close enough to be very disturbing. Ah, secondaries are starting to land on him. Ah, one of his shots just bounced off. Okay. Torpedo boat down. Concentrate fire on the battleship. Now, at this range, his belt will be blocking most of the uh, shots. Which is fine, that's why I'm going to tell my secondaries to switch to HE. Let's burn his deck down. And then I'm going to let the primaries do their work. Ooh, that's a good hit. The Gabagool hit him. Oh shit, he's going up. That's not good. 
Yeah, he had a fire because the shell burst inside and the magazine decided it wanted to leave and become a problem for everyone. So I lost 10 guys, probably scalded with a sip, you know, like soup spilling over in the, because, you know, course changes. It probably scalded a few people. <laughs> no, probably just guys uh, above deck when they shouldn't have been, or perhaps people out on the wings helping spot stuff. But uh, yeah, wow. High five me. All right, so sank that. Let's go ahead and sank that. Yeah, okay. Now let's see what happens. Soviet Union's trying to take uh, Lebanon, and it looks like we now control Croatia. So, yeah. Good goddamn. Thanks. Now let's go over here and beat the hell out of what's left of them. You know, I might as well ask if they want to surrender, just to just to be nice, right? Let's let's see if they want to surrender. Okay, let's let's try that. Let's go, hey, would you like a peace treaty? If they say no, I have to grind them to dirt. That's the rules. I'm not gonna be able to be nice to them anymore. I've been nice up to this point. I've given them I've given them very clean deaths. Let's see what they say. Come on, Austro Hungary. Don't be a sore loser. You can keep Ukraine. They won't. They'll they'll get really upset because they have Austria, Hungary, and not Romania, but they have Galicia, Bohemia, Moravia, and Ukraine. So they're still they're pretty much a landlocked power with one little outlet for their navy. They have refused to surrender. Ah, and it looks like all of their ships up here are bottled up on the Black Sea. Let us drive the point home. My diplomats asked. That is the velvet glove. Now they will have the iron fist. Well, the meatball fist. I'm going to be very annoying to them. I'm going to walk in there and I'm going to be crazy. That's what Italy does best. I should have named these things the Vespa class. Which is pretty much what they are. So four battleships, six heavy cruisers, one... La okay, so this is what's left of their navy. Crap, I need to send my battleship squadrons over here to finish the job. All right, boys. Let's do this. Uh, yep. All right, full speed, boys. Wow, that is really ridiculous. Okay, Norris, they say. All right, boys. Let's roll. Nor'east. Ah, yes, we lay the smoke. I hide from them. They're gonna be like, Sir, we spotted a fog bank moving at 35 knots. I'm like, yep, that, that's normal. And we have really okay torps. They can do five-click range. Now, torps at this period in history are not great. They're okay. I'm going to tell them to not shoot his torpedoes. I'm going to tell them instead to just use their guns until we get into that battleship range. Because I want them to use their torpedoes first. I don't want to waste my torpedoes on them. Torping destroyers is pretty dumb. It is, it is a waste of torpedoes. I instead want to roll right by him and be as annoying as possible. Oh, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to head off this battleship squadron as best we can. As the enemy torpedo boat squadron is trying to be uh, annoying, to say the least. I'm going to tell them, that though, that they can be hyper aggressive with a deck gun and shoot everything they want. Because that's funny. Holy crap, there's the whole squadron. All right, aggressive with the torpedoes, boys. Aggressive. Very aggressive. Focus fire. Focus all the fire. Alright, boys. We getting torps out. Hell yeah. Torps in the water. Okay, the second half of their navy is over there, which is why. It's not really a great formation. Looks like they did do some damage versus the Carabinieri, which is now doing a drive-by on the Delphine. Uh, their other torpedo boats are breaking off because why wouldn't you? Some of my torpedoes are just exploding by habit at this point. Um, their battleships have turned away, which I understand. 
uh, the conga line of doom has descended upon them. Is he going to turn back into them? Oh, that's not so good. That sounds expensive. All right, let's keep going. Oh, Torp on the nose. Monarch is going down. Slowly. Alright, he's taking some damage. We're beating him up pretty okay. Indomito is now peeling off because secondaries have eaten his face, and that's alright. Monarch is taking a lot of water on. These are his modernized battleships, so these were probably laid down right before the war started. And I've got a lot of destroyers that are waiting in line to get in on this. Oh, there's the Habsburg. I gotta sink you. Oh, it's a dud. Damn it. Alright, there's the Carl. Carl. Uh, there's the Tegidhoff, which just took a torpedo. Oh, wow. We just torped ourselves. Great job, guys. What are you doing? Giuseppe. Why? Why you do this? Alright, what do we got? Looks like one of my guys may ram into him, which is kind of funny. Well, maybe not. He's gonna go down. Yeah, they're dur these guys are really not gonna make this easy for us. They may sink all my destroyers, which is fine. All I need to do is beat the ships up. Alright, he's going down. Rosalino Pilo. You just fired torpedoes into the open ocean. What are you doing? Rosalino, why? Okay, Ostro. That guy's had his Wheaties today. Holy shit. Alright. It's like, how much coal are you stoking? Yes. Oh, look, there's the Euro. It's beating. Holy crap. I don't know what's in these guys, but it's nitromethane flavored. Yeah, the Austro-Hungarian Navy is probably a bit surprised, as am I. Some of my torpedo boats have unlocked Sanic Speed, which I believe is a bug. It doesn't really help me because they drop their torps and, uh... They're way off mark at that speed. Because by the time they release them, they're aiming at nothing. The enemy can't hit them, but I can't hit anything. Well, actually, the enemy can hit them. I take that back. One of them already did blow up. I don't know how that happens, but it's funny every time. Look at him. Giuseppe is a Ferrari boat. He's a so fast. Uh, all right. <laughs> Please pit now. Meanwhile, my ships that are moving at reasonable speeds are going to attempt to torpedo the remaining battleships. The battleships are trying to break, uh, and they are slowly coming up to speed to do so. Some of my other boats are just going to ram them, uh, because any damage I can do is worth it. Yes, open hull frames. Excellent. Here comes another speedboat. <laughs> All right, Italian Navy, you guys got this. For all the pepperoni, Rosalino Pilo, you sink. Yeah, but you rammed a guy that was pretty baller. All right, so the Navy is throwing smoke everywhere, throwing twerps everywhere, throwing gang signs everywhere. Those twerps are going nowhere. Uh, they may intersect with a ship in 30 years. They're starting to hit my boys. They're starting to beat him up real bad, and that's fine. The battleships will be here soon. I'm glad I found their whole navy, because they refuse to surrender, and I know why. They now have probably 100,000 deadweight tons waiting for me. They think they can win. I will change their mind. All right, Carl. Soldato, you sink. That's not so great. Carl just launched a torpedo. God damn it, Carl. You missed. Now I'm going to ram you for your insolence.
Oh yes, the ramming shall continue. All right, my ship is wrecked, but I opened a few hull frames. That's worth it. And we also deck gunned him a bit, so he's on fire to boot. Okay, here comes another one. San Giovanni Battista Grande is sinking. With a name like that, holy shit. Oh no, it's it's time for ram time. Knock knock, who's there? Torpedo boat. Pontieri. Prego. Vit. Wait, that's French. Ram him. Ram, ram, ram. Yep, opening up them whole frames is going to slow you down. Giuseppe La Massa. All right. Left rudder. Let's give it to him. We're out of torps, but we are a torp. So we're down about seven boats. Uh, the others have gone into Sanic speed and are achieving nothing. Um, again, that's a hilarious game glitch I've seen a few times with using mass torpedo fleets. All right, ram, 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 ram. He may sink. He may sink from excessive ramming. Hell yeah. Welcome to the bottom, you son of a bitch. Monarch sinking. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's go after Carl. Yeah, we're losing boats. Man, that thing back there is flying. All right. We're losing ships, but that's fine. We're gonna do our best. Please don't ramp the already struck ship. Please. All right, we just did that. Impetuoso. Too fast. Slow down. All right, yep, they're sinking a lot of our destroyers now. They're all various states of crippled in this uh, suicide attack, but... Yeah, see, they can still hit them. It's not like this is an overpowered glitch. They can still very easily pop them. All right, we're gonna go after this guy. Carl's gonna sink, actually, by the time I get there. Carl's not doing so great. Alright, Carl. Time to sink you. A lot of these, uh... A lot of these ships, I mean... They're single-use, let's be honest. Destroyers are the napkins of the service combatant world. There we go. Give him some of this. There you go. Have some ocean. I insist. He's like, why? And I'm like, because it's funny. Oh, and another torpedo. Excellent. All right, one more ship. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, his secondaries are beating the shit out of me. Here comes drifting Palestro in the lead, driving the Ferrari. Yep, just goes right by, does nothing. However, torps out from Giuseppe Farina. Giuseppe Farina with two, one torpedo, the other one explode. And it's a dud. God damn it. All right, he's doing damage to me. He's got a jammed rudder, which means he's going to be a son of a bitch to hit with torpedoes. The rest of the enemy fleet over here is just wiping the floor with my ships. Probably not going to get that last battleship. Habsburg is going to be the guy who gets away with this. Yes, I realize I just said battleship. It doesn't make me proud. 
All right, Impetuoso. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. I know you have twerps left, but they seem to not be working today. The other ships are going too fast to do anything. Oh, God. All right, main battery hit. We are burning up real bad now. You get hit by another dud torpedo. Even though my torpedoes are fancy, they're not good enough. We are losing ships. The Italian speedboat navy is dying. Oh, it's now time for one of my speedy boats that is going too fast to do anything. Alright, look. I'm gonna tell him to slow the fuck down and see if that works. You know, like, hey asshole, slow your boat down. Doesn't seem to be working. How fast is he going? Uh, since he's doing 60 knots, which is hilarious, uh, he doesn't seem to be able to turn. Hence the uh, broken state of everything. All right, the other the other ships are all minus torps. They have achieved not much against these cruisers other than the occasional torpedo hit. Not enough to really be useful. Uh, what do we got over here? You're just gonna leave? No, you're gonna go back into that battle like a sir. Okay, we got 21 boats left. Come on, let's do it. There's no time to be cowards here. Okay, 19 boats left. There's some time to be cowards. All right, I'm telling this guy to rejoin formation. Looks like their battleships may actually win the day. Weight of fire is doing everything, which is what I experienced on my own battle fleet. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's do what we can to disengage. Oh, good lord. I saw that from back here. Alright, so I really only have seven boats working. Most are sinking, which is not so great. They're in various states of sinking. Some are sinking fast, some are sinking slow. However, I sank a number of battleships, which is probably going to work in my favor. However, it may embolden these goddamn Austro-Hungarians to fight on. Which means I need to bring my battleship fleet in here and grind them out from being a sea power. Yeah, their but last battleship is out there cleaning house right now. He is, uh, he's doing his job. It's not going so great for us. Not at this point, anyways. It started off pretty good. But it's not ending great. My ships are all out of gas, even the fast ones are all dead. And uh, now their concentrated firepower is certainly overwhelming their very flimsy hulls. Which, while they are overbuilt for destroyers, they're not built to take battleship rounds. And the battleship rounds is starting to find them. Now, as far as their battleship goes, uh, it's seen better days. It's not supposed to have a gangsta lean like that. It has an engine out and most of its keel spaces are full of water. However, that doesn't mean it's gone yet. Again, after Jutland, a lot of German ships came home horrifically mangled and were still quite functional after some time in dry dock. Who's he shooting a torpedo at? Now that guy's a lousier torpedo shot than my guys. All right, they are beating the piss out of what I have left. 
I'm gonna make smonk while I can. I have no more torpedoes. We've exercised every torpedo in our inventory. I got three boats left. This guy's got a jammed rudder, otherwise I'd introduce him as a final torpedo to that light cruiser. Yeah, both of them have jammed rudders, so they're just going in circles, which is not a great place to be in a boat. Oh, here comes a torpedo. Will it hurt? Yes. Giuseppe, you go to the bottom now. All right. Well, maybe. Yeah, he's going to the bottom. All right. Most of my boats are heading to Davy Jones, but we're still fighting. Still making this annoying for them. All right, so this is going to be a very bad loss for the Regia Marina in terms of total hulls sunk. But in terms of total losses, uh, this is actually going to be not that bad. Because each of these only holds a hundred dudes, right? Those battleships I sank, probably more than that. Alright, thus the torpedo squadron fares. Let's see. Fairly even. Even though he only lost two boats and I lost 24. That's good enough. Now it's time to send in the battleship squadron. Because I will now close and shut the gates of kindness to them. I'm going to send in the Gabagool and friends. And I'm just tired of being a nice guy. You. Uh, other, other squadron. Roll in. It's time to flatten what's left of the Austro-Hungarian Navy. I'm sorry, guys. But the goulash is over. It's, it's time, it's time to say goodnight. Excellent. My battleship shall be done soon. My battleships shall be done soon. Hopefully soon. We shall see. I managed to stabilize my budget, but it is at a cost of jumping ahead in technology, which I think is wasteful, so I'm going to need to do that. The Italian army is trying to take Serbia. Good luck. They're also trying to take the Central Balkans. Good good luck. This didn't work in World War II. This shall be the battle that breaks their back, though. Uh, this is what's left of their high seas fleet, and it's all bottomed up, bottled up, and it's been beat up real bad. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to finish the job. This is the elbow from the top rope. This is the Macho Man moment. Oh yeah, as I like to say. To quote the Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah. Alright, so there are two battleships are left, two heavy cruisers, four destroyers, three torpedo boats. So I've got the Wide Tom and company, as you can see my earlier ships, doing a little bit of that bob because the battle just started. And I'm going to have these guys uh, drive in a normal-ish formation. I have the, oh, yeah, I think these are my, I'm going to need to break this squadron up. All right, here we go. Alright, so I've got my battleships, and I'm going to put them all on one, uh, just to make it hilarious. And then I'm going to put the destroyers on two. Destroyers, battleships. Good, good, good. Alright, the battleships are going to roll in at 22 knots, and I'm going to make them do line ahead, and yeah, that should be good. And I'm going to have them basically do a drive-by, and uh, their excessive number of 8-inch secondaries are going to be pretty great. Now, the main boys, the main attraction, the fast boys, are going to cruise around 
at redonkulous speed, I guess, because that glitch keeps happening, which means I will probably stop to use destroyers until this glitch gets ironed out, because I find them impossible to turn and impossible to bring into torpedo range of things when they're operating at sanic speed. Because right now, the game is telling me that some of these are doing 53 knots, 54 knots, which is absolutely bonkers for the arrow. Could you do that speed? Sure. But at what cost? This is where you start to get into it. And then the hole folded in on itself like a taco. Hydrodynamic shear. All right, so let's go ahead and see what he's doing with his battle line. Looks like he's going to try to cut in front of us, which I don't like. So we're going to go ahead and turn the boats the other way. There's the ship that has the slash in its name. They couldn't decide, so they just put it all in the hull. Damn it. It's not what you're supposed to do. It seems unlucky to give a ship two names. Alright. A little bit of ramming with the battleships there, which I guess is expected. They're sending a cruiser out to try to stop the battleships. My sheer number of secondaries will stop them. Maybe. Swing at them, boys. Ooh, that's, that's a good volley. Not that it hit anything. Come on, hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, that's, that's all right. That's one of them tall boys that I can't stand. Blow it up. Yeah, he's having it. All right. Torpedo squadron, let's go in and do some damage. As the battleships get into range to clobber them. Oh yeah, that's bad. Well, that guy decided to come into clobber in range. He's nothing but fire now. I'm going to hope to wipe out this other cruiser that's between my main annoyance fleet, the destroyers over here, and the battleships. I need to give these guys an opening. Oh, and of course they're dropping torps. Guys, come on. It's not worth it. Save your torps till you get home. You'll get hungry later. All right, let's just drop some smog, shall we? Brigands, eh? So he's turning to avoid torps, but he's now going broadside to the battleships, which is, don't do that. Yeah, because now they figured out your range, and you're a big flat target now. That's going to be bad. He's now trying to rejoin his fleet. He did get one torp off on the Stella Mattis, which is an older boat. All right, his torpedo boats are out front, which is fine. Will not help. We're going to just continue sailing in, and we're going to do a breast because fuck everyone else. I see his battleship in there. I'm going to do what we can to annoy their torpedo boat squadron. Need to make these go away. Because they could potentially cause trouble. My guys are trying to hit them, but, you know, they bob around a lot. The sea's not perfect, and this has a few holes in it. It's seen better days. Alright, good job. You hit him with a few shells. Tilio Bagnolini. You took an owl.
Oh god. Alright. Let's turn in here. Let's turn in here. We're going for that battleship. He's like, no, please. These are two different battleships. This isn't their whole fleet. Means my battleships might get a chance to do even more crazy. Alright, we're beating up their guys. Alright, and Twerp's on aggressive. Shoot at everything. Hell yes. Alright. They're torping my torp boats, but I'm also torping their torp boats, so... Go torpedoes. Battleships are coming into point-blank brawling range. Which is not what they're supposed to do, but sure. Why not? Alright, the battleship squadron is hilariously out of position. He's shooting a torpedo. I'm gonna make him feel better. Not gonna help him in the long run. We're getting torps in on almost everybody. This is a nightmare. But it's good enough. Why Tom just took a torpedo? Why Tom will be fine though? I just shot myself. One of my battleships, San Giovanni or Napoli, just put a shell into the back of the uh, Aquila Volante. I told you that was unlucky. Dud. Alright. Looks like the only person who's hurt me today is me, really. Too true. This looks relatively modern. I'm not going to ram him. I'm just going to do a drive-by. Some of those ricochet. The wide Tom is burning, but not badly. Secondaries are doing what they do best. I'm gonna tell the secondaries to concentrate on the, what is that, phonics? Like hooked on phonics? All right, sure. Tell the secondaries to concentrate on them while they ram each other. Oh, well that worked real well. Real nice. There's a ram. He took a page from my book. Oh, hell yeah. Torpedoes. The White Tom just broke his back. Way to go, White Tom. Alright, here comes the Napoli. Wow. Talk about a drift shot. Alright. Richardis, down you go. Time to sink it. You can definitely feel the age of the older Dreadnoughts. They don't seem to have the uh, ability to clap these dudes as quickly as they should. Lack of centralized fire control, lack of centralized battery, a lot of issues. But they're good enough for interim-sized fleets, but versus a pure navy, not gonna do well. The Wide Tom class, however, doing really well. Those 13-inch guns are doing great. The 10-inch guns are not getting it done. We need to go bigger. That is, that is what we have to do. Alright, so 400 losses to 4,000. That seems a bit more like it. Ah, the Bayern, which I was what I was talking about earlier. 15-inch guns, which is quite nice. These things are almost, almost modern battleships. Almost. 
if you had a turtle back through here instead of the casemates, and you had a little bit longer bow, you'd be you'd be fairly modern. Netherlands, Norway, bind destroyers. Quite nice, quite nice. Let's move the rest of our fleet in here. Uh, and I'm just going to try to blockade what he has left. And I'm just going to keep being belligerent. As belligerent as I can be. And I'm hoping that it breaks him. I'm hoping that he surrenders. I'm hoping that his government collapses. I'm hoping that I squeeze him until he bleeds from every orifice. My Dune. My Arrakis. The Italian army, meanwhile, is probably losing a million men a day just attacking east. That's their only objective. They still haven't made it to Austria yet. They're having a bit of trouble. I know there's Alps in the way. Alright, look. I'm just gonna auto resolve. There we go. Oh, hell yes. Big ol' fleet fight. That's what I was waiting for. I want the main fleet. I want to sink what they have left. And then I will leave them as a Black Sea power. That's it. I will leave them as a relic of what they once were. No more, no less. Alright, boys and girls, let's do this. Two battleships, six heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, and three torpedo boats versus the battleship fleet. Uh, the Exporto, the Gabagool. Yeah, we got all sorts of boats here. And then the enormous destroyer screen, which is just going to run in there like a train. All right, boys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here we go. It's time to send in the torpedo boats. Angelo Bassini. Holy crap, look at that. That is like a bunch of ants spilling out. All right. The battleship fleet has found rough targets. We're just going to roll forward and do our best. The Exporto class is... Uh, where are you? There. You can see that this is definitely a smaller, older ship. It is not going to be able to keep up with the formation. And that's fine. He can bring up the rear. Angelo Bassini presents Gabagool, the musical. Let's sink the big ships first. I want them to know that their leadership is dead before I send them to the grave unmourned. To hell, I say. Alright, we're dropping torps all through that formation. Some of them may even go off. Remember, I got torp launchers on each side on this guy. These are better destroyers on paper. So we're going to make sure that we present as we roll right through the formation and shoot everything that moves. Oh, cool. I already lost a guy. They're not having a great day. Their battleships are getting absolutely pummeled. My battleship fleet is rolling in to do what it does best, which is kill. You can see my guys dropping torps just everywhere, which is exactly what I want. Battleships, concentrate fire on that guy. He's different than us. He's like, no, please, I have a family. And I'm like, that's why I'm shooting you first. I see your family and I raise my hand. Ah, Angelo Bassini took a torpedo for my battleships. Good job. Good job. Styre is sinking. Fuck you. Novara, you're going down now. The 
The secondaries will break your back. So this is how the uh, Austro-Hungarian Navy dies. I'm using the destroyers to more or less sheepdog these guys into avenues of fire. These are fairly light as heavy cruisers go, so they're older gen, definitely. Only 400 men cruise. These aren't big boats. 3,700 tons displacement. Not huge. Heavy cruisers are protected cruisers, certainly by 1890s standards, but not by the teens. Well, not completely. They keep trying to shoot torps at me, but my little guys are just eating them for them. And my little guys are still letting torps out. Which is doing the owies. Oh, that's a bad hit. Excellent. Destroy him next. Drach. Which is close enough to Dracula to scare me, so time to die. To sink you. That's what you get for showing up. I think the Gabagool is just gonna ram you. Yeah, well. If, if you keep going on that course, it's gonna ram your corpse and churn your crew up in the props. Don't be there. Alright. Trown? Well, time for you to die. And he's going down. Alright, who else wants some? Tim Mez. Time to die. Oh, that's a bad hit. Destroyer, no! Destroyer, how? Alright. No, you don't. It's time for you all to burn today. Concentrate fire on the Habsburg. Aim for the chin. Alright, there goes that. Tulin. I sink you next. Tuln. Holy shit, one of my battleships is sinking. It had a fire on board. That's amazing. I lost something. Oh well. Cordite's a hell of a thing. Just ask Jackie Fisher. Something seems bloody wrong with our ships today. Indeed. Alright, let's see. Tulnan and... He's running for it, but not today. All right, destroyer swarm. Uh, let's see if we can get in range to hurt somebody before this is all over. Their modernized battleships are actually getting shots off on me, but I also wouldn't have put it past my destroyer fleet for accidentally torping me. That's probably where some of these oopsies came from. Oh, those are right in. That'll slow them down. His main guns are insufficient. 10-inch guns are just not getting it done anymore. For a battlecruiser, sure. 
but not for a battleship. And so I'm glad I embraced heavy guns while I could. All right, so he lost a bunch. I lost some. And the history of the Gangut class is fairly interesting. I recommend you guys look that up. These ships had a very interesting life, some longer than others. But these are very cool kind of dreadnoughts. You got four main guns, and they're all arrayed center line. It was a style of design that lasted in, I know the French Navy had a period of design for that. I know the Italian Navy did, and I know the Russian Navy sure did, because they had Italian shipyards help. All right, so not much is left of the Austro-Hungarian Navy. In fact, I've taken that whole Navy and I've ground it down to two battleships, one cruiser, one light cruiser, and one destroyer. That's all that's left. That is all that's left. So we're going to just surround what's left of their Navy. We're going to introduce it to the ocean, okay? We're going to do that together. Is this cruel? Yes. Is this necessary? Yes. I need them to understand that they have lost. Also, it looks like my battleships are fitting out, the new ones. The Soviet Union is invading Ukraine from Crimea and Eastern Belarus, it looks like. No, Eastern Poland, sorry. These are World War I and 1890s maps, so uh, not all the regions make sense to the modern eye. Pardon my misassessment. So, uh, yeah, Soviet Union is fighting the Austro-Hungarian military uh, for a fight for control over Ukraine, which is interesting. The rest of the Austro-Hungarian fleet is based out of Edessa, which is probably just trying to survive for the moment. Um, so I'm just going to send these guys in and sink what's left of their navy, more or less. Um... And I'll, I'll see if they're willing to have themselves uh, one of them whole peace processes. I'll be like, hey, you want to have a peace treaty? Because you have no ships. Zero. You have zero ships. Your navy is gone. I have made your navy bye-bye. Do you want Do you want to have less vessels? There's the Pico class, which is, eh, they're all right. They're all at La Spezia. Let's see if he surrenders. Because if so, I can then get rid of what's left of my boys, and I'll let the Soviet Union eat the Austro-Hungarians, and I'll just clap. Soviets are also attacking from Moldova. Uh, looks like they aren't willing to go. At least not yet. Come on, Austro-Hungary. Come on, Habsburgs. Just lay down. Have a nap. Have a sleep sleep. Ah, their government got overthrown, and the successive government signed a peace treaty and give me Serbia. Done and done. They gave me a boatload of money in Serbia, and my war is over. Excellent. So now I'm going to take my fleet, and I'm going to put all of them in Taranto, just so I can uh, organize them. And then I'm going to do my best to, um, let's see, Italian Empire move these guys. You can go into Messina. There you go. And now we are running at negative money again. But don't worry, I'm going to pare down the destroyer fleet. And once I've pared down the destroyer fleet, it'll be easy as pie-ish. We'll see. I just need to put these ships into harbor, repair them, and then figure out what I want to keep versus what I don't, and then design a new battleship. Uh, I'm going to build probably four of them. Looks like the Soviet Union is really crushing the Habsburgs right now, or at least what's left of them. And that's fine. I got what I wanted. Which was more ports. And I also control Serbia, which is neat. Um, good for me. Alright, I'm going to put you guys in Taranto as well. And you guys are already headed there. So, good, good. Once I get all these guys back at harbor, I can then decide what stays and what goes. But the enormous destroyer fleets have started to work against me, as you've no doubt have been able to see. The enormous destroyer fleets are not doing well. Uh, not only because of glitches, but also because enemy secondaries and detection is good enough to where by the time my guys get into the relatively short range, their range finding and targeting Capabilities has increased, whereas my advantage in standoff range versus torpedoes really hasn't. 
Um, Germany and the Soviet Union and Austro-Hungary and China are fighting, which is interesting to say the least. Um, I'm going to improve relations with the Spanish. Spanish? I'm going to improve relations with the Spanish. And then I am going to do my best to stay out of trouble. The Germans think I'm okay. Um, Britain thinks I'm all right. And France thinks I'm pretty good. So I need to make sure that they continue to think I'm okay. I need to make certain that they don't mistake me for a bad guy. Because that could be really bad. However, I'm right now researching 15-inch guns. This will give me every advantage I need. So, Fardo class, while I'm using, has to go. Fardo class goes. Now, let's go up to the Exporto class. You had your time in the sun, scrap. Pico class is new, you're staying. Sforza class battleships are staying. Wide Tom class are definitely staying. Uh, fancy class torpedo boats. They were okay for a while, but they are no longer necessary. So we're going to take them, and we are going to get rid of them. Fancy. Scrap. Now, this is going to reduce our overall uh, investiture of naval power. I know that that sounds crazy, but trust me. Now I have to look at Taranto, which is actually at capacity. Excellent. Toronto is at capacity. This will probably be the last time that happens. So let's see. Sforza, Sforza. Ah, so I have a handful of these that are still in port, so I can get rid of them. Scrap. And then get rid of you, scrap. And then get rid of you, scrap. A lot of them did not get through the war in one piece. Most of them got through the war in multiple pieces. They, they got through the war very beat up because I used them like a brick. That's fine. Uh, once all my boys are back home, I should be able to then begin the cataloging of a new ship fleet. I have 17 battleships. I'm going to get rid of most, if not all, of my destroyers. And then I will replace them with a really badass cruiser fleet, should I need one. I might start designing some light cruisers that are just murder boats. It looks like the whole Italian army is attempting to take the Central Balkans. Which is where they failed in World War II, more or less. I know, there's, this is generalization. I'm painting with a very broad brush. But it was uh, typically where the Italians had to call on the Germans for help. They were like, um, Yugoslavia is angry. And that, that happens. Yugoslavia be like that. Just one of their historical uh, statuses. All right, we're going to go to Gaeta instead. We're going to put our guys in harbor there, and then as soon as we design 15-inch guns with good range finders, I'm going to put it all together and we'll see what happens, right? We're going to see what happens. We're going to have fancy, fancy range finders and fancy, fancy 15-inch guns. It says my economy is stable, but we'll see. I have to put my research back where it was and my training back where it was. Looks like most of the world is trying to stay well the fuck away from me, and that's fine. So running at a negative, as you can see, we're going to get into our fleet. All of these fancy class, yeah, they gotta go. They're ancient, they don't ship, they don't handle the ocean very well. We have the rest that are alright. Um, they're, they're beat up to various, various points, but that's okay. Some of these have low crew because they've taken some pounding, and that's expected. Uh, battleships typically do. You take one hit into one of these uh, cans. They are so full of fucking people that one hit equals fireball, and you end up with 8 billion dead. So, let's get into our fleet, and we're going to say, you know what? You're going to be a limited fleet. Sit at anchor, relax, enjoy your medals. I got you some medals. Everyone has medals now. Everyone's a war hero now. And then we have nothing more for hull strengthening. But we should be able to have some better dreadnoughts. I'm hopefully going to also get better rangefinders. And we can get some better cruiser design out of this. Because 9,000 ton light cruisers are essentially a modern Aegis destroyer. But without all of the ability to VLS and shoot over the horizon and ASA radar and, you know... 
Spidar and all that other stuff where you can just basically say, ah, yes, there's a guy within 200 miles and then send 800 missiles to his face. We don't, we won't have over the horizon or 3D radar. I'm sorry, but we will have close enough. We will have that at home. No, we won't. All right, let's make France our friend because they have the giantess navy and I don't and they scare me. All right, big guns and range finders are our next big boy thing, and we're slowly getting into bigger destroyers, which is fine. We need that, and I'm going to try to get into better uh, <laughs> range finding and fire control, because I need to be able to find the enemy with shells and then kill them. That is the main aim, anyways. All right, let's see. Monthly balance is going up. I might be able to restore some of my training protocols, but I feel a need for more battleships. I only have 21, and I think that transitioning from Jean Nicole to what uh, Tirpitz had envisioned in his fleet naval laws, have a few very good ships. Let's see how that works as a theory, right? So, um... First step first is to slowly design better battleships that can phase out the old ones. And I'm thinking I will build them in fours. That is probably the wisest thing I can do. 15-inch guns are a go, which puts me ahead of the curve here. So I got rangefinders that, and in four months I could have geared steam turbines, which is really nice. I will get rid of these designs for the time being because I'm already building them. Ah, uh, boy. So we have some guys in Messina, we have some guys in Spilato, we have some guys in Gaeta and La Spezia, which is all fine. La Spezia has not a lot of room, well, it has 100,000 tons left. Livorno has plenty. Taranto is almost at capacity. Messina is over capacity. Uh, Palermo, you know what, Messina, let's see, we'll move ships. I'm going to move uh, Wide Tom and San Giovanni over there. Torano, you have three ships. Barry, you have three ships. Naples, none. No? All right, let's see. Spilato. I'm going to move you to there. I'm just double-checking my uh, ports here. Okay, La Spezia has way too many ships. I'm going to move some to... Uh, let's see. I'm going to move one there. And then I'm going to move a few more to Naples, all right? I'm going to go one, two, three, all right? And we're going to move you to Naples, there. So I'm distributing my ships so that I can send them all out in little flotillas that are just kind of fun. And each of them can have a neat name, like Team Ass Kick and Team Drop Kick and Team Punch Face and, and Team Angry. You know, they, they, they can all have themes, I guess. But my idea is to distribute the lethality of my fleet across uh, a broad enough area that I became very difficult to mine and harbor. And I should probably start getting onto that submarine business. Submarines in this game are kind of in the background. They don't do a lot. You can't like actively command them that I see. You just more or less put them in an area and you go kill here. And they can sometimes, but I haven't seen them do much. They're relatively new to the game. And considering this is Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's not submarine commando team, I think that's fine. All right, now we're going to set our estate to limited, which means sit in the harbor and shut the fuck up. And uh, yeah, Messina, La Spezia, Naples, Gata, Taranto. All right, as it should be. In three turns, we will have geared steam turbines. In one turn, we will have more gun accuracy, which is great. We're slowly unlocking better and better shells. So I'm going to go ahead and design a new ship. And that is how we can end this episode. We need something that strikes fear into the heart of the enemy. And let's see, what is my maximum tonnage? Still not that great. You know what? I'm going to call you the Beef Aroni. Beef Aroni class. For Italians who are going to say, what the fuck is Beef Aroni? Don't look it up. You'll get really mad. You'll write a very angry letter. Italians. They love to yell. This is gonna make them. So let's go ahead and put some uh, gun barbettes here and here. And then we're gonna go ahead and center line guns. We're gonna put these 15 inch big honking guns on here. Because I don't like what other people have and I want to break it. 
and 15 inch guns are the way to do it. That's what the Bismarck and Tirpitz had. In fact, most of the British Navy had them as well. Um, let's do medium superimposed gun barbettes. Can I put these on the side? No. Why are you not going to let me do it? Oh, I can, I can put these guys on the side. What, what gives? All right, fine enough. I'm going to add more small little guns. Oh, wait. Can I put... Oh, there we go. There we go. Good enough. All right, secondary guns. Let's see. Eight inch? Won't fit there. Giggity. Uh, six inch guns? Yes and yes. Six inch will fit. So I have these cool, you know, kind of elevated barbettes with six inch gun turrets. I can put some on lower standing. And then uh, we'll have some three inch guns here on the wings. Just kind of as cheek guns. In case they come in and decide to be cheeky, I can shoot the shit out of them, which is what I want. Torpedo launchers, uh, yes please, because when they get in close, that's what you need. You just need to do that. Now look at the range on this motherfucker, 25,000 kilometers, pretty good. I'm gonna make this a 25 knot ship, which is gonna certainly take that range down, and that's fine. We're gonna do geared turbines, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, and I'll leave that as is. Krupp 4, very expensive, and I torpedo 3, double hulls, reinforced everything, and I flood everything, citadel everything, dunite, and then cordite, and then uh, we're going to do capped everything, and then I'm going to put in coincidence rangefinders like a bastard, and then we're going to have 19 inch torpedoes. Now, this is a pretty damn good battleship. And 25 knots is good enough for most, but I'm going to see if I can't get it up to 28. That is really pushing the engine efficiency. <laughs> Not as much as I would like. So let's let's see about getting a slightly okay inner deck. And I'm going to bump that up to four, four, three inch main deck. We're getting close. This is not as heavily armored as my other designs. That's okay. This is a more modernish battleship. And it has a lot of bang bang. And you know what? I could probably remove these and remove these and remove these. All right, there we go. Secondaries. And I'll have just a pair on each side. There. Now, I've saved some tonnage. Not a lot, but enough. 28 knots. Pretty good. Let's add another inch of armor onto that main deck. There we go. Armor is our friend. Armor makes the shells no hurt. There we go. 2.1 inch and all good. Beefaroni classes a go. 15 inch main guns and has four turrets and really good range finders. So I should be able to actually make a very good fleet out of these. 28 knots in the teens is also flying for capital ships. I should be able to hurt more than their feelings with these. I'm going to probably have to build only four of them because of limitations of money in peacetime. But if we go to war, I'll end up building another four, and then another four, and then another four, and then another four. And the Navy will be like, what are you doing? I'll be like, what I want. All right, let's see. Uh, Palermo, no, Gaeta, eh, Naples, uh, Ancona. Okay, you have some tonnage. Ooh, he, his ports were very developed. Yes. All right, so let's put these guys at Pula, shall we? Yes. You will be made in Croatia. There we go. All right. At any rate, that'll do for this episode. See you guys later, and take care of each other. When we build up, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the best warship was built for you. When we set out, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the best warship that sails for you. When we spot them, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the best warship that will take point. And if we take heat, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the best warship to take the heat. Oh, I would block 800 rounds, and I could block 800 
more just to be the ship that took 1600 rounds and sunk them down below when we're working i know i'm gonna be i'm gonna be the warship working hard for you and when the fleet comes i know i'm gonna block i'm gonna block every round they ever throw when we take heat, when we take heat, you know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the ship that comes down to save you. And if they sink me, well, you know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the ship that takes one more with me. Cause I, I would block a hundred rounds and I could block a hundred more Just to be the ship that took sixteen hundred rounds before I up and flow when they pet me, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the warship tells them I'll fuck you. And when they struck me, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the ship that fires torpedoes. When I go out, when I go out, well, you know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the ship that's shooting torpedoes. When they sink me, when they sink me, yes, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the ship that sinks a couple more. Gonna be the ship that sinks way fucking more. Cause I would block 800 rounds and I would block 800 more just to be the ship that took 1600 rounds before I up and go. Renow, 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 Renow. Renau, <laughs> <laughs>